the LG V20 user here and today I'm taking a look at the LG K30 for T-Mobile so um this phone has not been announced yet by LG the phone's name is out yet so um this phone recently popped up on T-Mobile support page and I think I give you guys my thoughts and depends on the LG K30 so as you guys can probably tell the K30 is not bit over the K20 from last year so that's pretty good the K20 was a nice phone it had nice specs for what it was a budget phone it had nice specs on it. So see if you got the plus version of the K20, you got some pretty damn good specs with the K20 Plus from last year on T Mobile and Metro PCS. Also Cricket got that phone last year as the LG Fortune and Verizon Prepaid got that phone last year LG as the LG K20 V. But Verizon and Cricket they got the lower end version of the K20 from last year. So we'll see what the LG K30 brings to the table here. So um that's front of frame right here. Um you got your front facing camera, earpiece and all that good stuff. You got your um lock screen that interesting wallpaper. On the left side of the phone you got your volume up and down buttons. On the back of the uh K30 you have your camera, camera flash, power size swing print sensor, so that's a win, LG logo and whatnot. Win. And uh, yeah, uh, so as you guys know, the LG K30 supports LTE, of course, voice over LTE, Wi Fi calling, and it takes a nano SIM card, so that's pretty good. And obviously, the K30 runs Android 7.1.2 7 Nougat. Uh, unfortunately, it's not the newest version of Android, but Android Nougat is not that bad. Um, this, this is a budget phone, hopefully. When LG and T-Mobile announce this thing, hopefully they'll, hopefully they'll decide to put order on this. But I think they're going to come out. I think this one's going to come with 7.1.2. But hopefully this one will get Oreo later on. Hopefully it will. Um. So yeah. Uh, let's go take out some specs on the phone. Uh, if you guys want to take this out for yourselves, this will be linked in in this week's video. So I'm um, here are some specs in the K30. So the K30 has a 600 megahertz and they, but I guess it's like the uh, spectrum. I guess I I don't know. Uh, the K30 has a 5.3 inch HC TFT display. Uh, it's 720p. I'm assuming so that's about 277 ppi there. Um, so it has the same. It kind of has the same specs from last year's K20 Plus. Kind of kind of the same specs if you look at it. I don't know what the upgrade is though. I don't know. And like I said, the um, K30 has a uh, fingerprint sensor on back. That's where your power button is. Has a 1.4 GHz quad core processor. Um, the processor, I do not know what it is. It's a Snapdragon processor. But the exact processor, I have no idea what that is at this time. Uh, the battery on the uh, K30 Plus is 2880 milliamp. Um, the usage time is 13 hours, standby time 10 days. It has a keyboard, of course. It has a, obviously on screen keyboard, you know, obviously. Uh, the K30 has 2 GB of RAM and 32 GB of ROM. So, it's the same as last year, so not too bad there. I mean, I wish it would have like 3 GB of RAM in here, but it's a budget friend. At least it's better than 16 gigs. At least it's better than that. Uh, you do get market card expense in of the two terabytes of course Android 7.1.2 Android 7, Android 7 Nougat of course uh, 1.4 GHz quad core Snapdragon processor uh, I don't know the processor the exact processor just yet um, it has an anti theft of course advanced messaging device unlock app uh, emergency alert SIM card nano KIQ yes T-Mobile video calling yes Activity the K30 has 8211 ABGN Wi Fi, Wi Fi web browsing, Wi Fi sharing, Wi Fi calling 2.0, NFC, Type C charging, Win that has uh, Bluetooth 4.2, Google Chrome as your um, web browser, that's probably your default browser, it has tethering APN and all that. Um, it has these um, bands here. 
Uh, if you guys need the um, LTE, if you guys think about getting this phone, the LTE bands for this K30 smartphone has bands 2, 4, 5, 7, 12, 66, and 71. Um, it, it has HD voice and voice over LTE. So that's a definite win right there. The cameras on the K30 are pretty are pretty good. Uh, 13 megapixel rear facing camera, 5 megapixel front facing camera, 4 times digital zoom, flash from the back, auto focus, basic text, and multiple shooting modes, video recording, and of course, both cameras do HD videos on front and back. Uh, there's your um videos um um there's your video uh formats there. So yeah, the K30, um, it's not much of an upgrade over the K20 from last year. It's not much of an upgrade. I don't know what the, um, upgrade is of this. I, I think last year when the, uh, I think last year when the, uh, K20, the, when the K20 came out, it came out with 7.0 Nougat. This one comes, this one comes with 7.1. Nugget. So that's not much. I guess that's like the only upgrade that you guys will see. Um, I think it had, uh, uh, this one has Type C charging. I think the uh, K20 had micro USB charging on the K20, but the K30 has Type C, NFC. Uh, so there's not much improvements over the K30 over the K20. It's not much improvements over it. I mean. It's a nice run. It looks like the K20 though. Uh, just a little bit. It looks like the K20 just a little bit. Um, I think the battery's a bit bigger in this run as well by um by not that much. I think the battery's a bit bigger in this run. Screens has to still the same, resolution the same, RAM same, ROM same, depending on what K you you have. If you had the T Mobile or Match PCS K20 Plus, it'd be the same RAM and ROM. Um Cameras are the same. Everything is the same about this phone, but I don't know what the up I don't know what the improvement is. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I think this phone's gonna cost um, I'm gonna say one fifty. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say between one fifty and two hundred dollars for this phone on T-Mobile and Metro PCS. Um. You might be able to get it a bit cheaper if you do the uh, the rebates and all that shit. But I think this one's gonna be, I think this one's gonna be between one fifty and two hundred dollars when it's released on Metro PCS and T Mobile. Um, so yeah, the specs on this thing are pretty good. It's not bad for it's not bad for a budget phone. Um, I don't know if there's gonna be a K30 and the K30 Plus. I'm not sure, but the T Mobile only has it as the K30 for now. So we we'll, we'll have to wait and see about that. Um, specs on here are not that bad. I mean, it, it's a budget phone, so you have to keep that in mind. At least it has, at least it has 32 gig 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 of storage. At least it's 32 gigs of storage on um, that 16 gigs, like it was on the K20 B4 Verizon prepaid last year. Uh, this one has 32 gigs, like it was on the K20 Plus. So I. Don't know what the improvement is. I have no idea. I I don't know. On that, I could figure that the K20 came with 7.0. The K30 doesn't come with 7.1. I'm hoping LG and T-Mobile tangents are mine, and I hope they put Oreo on this run out of the box. If not, hopefully this run will get Oreo later on. So yeah, man. Um. I don't know when this one will get released. I don't know when it will get announced, but it is coming to Team Mobile and Metro PCS eventually. So, um, yeah, there's your first look at the LG K30 on Team Mobile. Um, what do you guys think about this phone? Are you guys interested in this phone? Um, I have no idea what the up. I don't. I have no idea is what the improvement is over the uh, K30 is over the K20. I have no idea what the improvements are. I have no idea. If there are any improvements, it's very small improvements, so don't really get excited. If you guys get the K20, you're not really missing much on the K30. So, um, yeah, what do you guys think about the K30? Is it a friend that you might be interested in? So if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. It really helps me out a lot. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.